Hi there guys, welcome back to the Fountain Channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine Yarda coin. So guys, if we go ahead and we take a little look over at RabbitMining.com for his calculator, you can see if I fill in my hash rates that I receive, give or take, on my rigs, you can see right now it's showing that Yarda coin is the most profitable coin to mine at the moment. Now it's been showing up this, uh, it's been fluctuating for the past couple of days, it keeps popping up and then dropping back down. So this is one of those type of cryptocurrencies that I have normally seen, you know, right at the bottom of the list the majority of the time with zero, zero, zero. So uh, I'm very interested to give this a shot and go ahead and see if it's, you know, have a potential chance, you know, to earn anything, you know, from this within this period of time. Now, also do want to make sure as well that you guys are aware that uh, the exchange is Xbitron. Uh, so if if we just take a little look over onto the Yarda coin and we do a bit of a refresh, um, it is going ahead and saying there safe trade and isn't actually showing any uh, Xbitron over or from the um, thing. So I'm assuming that's where it must be picking this API from. So if we go ahead and we take ourselves over to the Yarda coin website, the first thing we're going to need to do to actually start going ahead and uh, you know mine this is we're going to need a wallet. So if we go ahead and press wallet on the Yarda coin.io. I'll leave all the links in the description for you guys. Go ahead and create yourself a username. So for this one, let's just throw in there Farrington. And press save. And if you go ahead and you just allow this some time to actually go ahead and initialize. What you'll be able to do is go ahead and then grab yourself your wallet then go ahead and copy your receive address and you'll need this going forward so if we take ourselves back over to mining pool stats as you can see if you look at the little price at the side there it has had a nice little 800 percent pump within the past previous 24 hours and then you can also see as well the difficulty as well had a bit of a spike on the 29th and then it's just ever so slightly decreased in the past few days so if we just have a look over at the hash rate history as well just a little bit more of a closer view uh, you can see that at the moment it looks like uh, the hash rate is down at about 2.7 mega hash. And then what about the difficulty to the the price? So the difficulty is down here. So the difficulty right now is at the highest it's been for a while. So like I said, I will be doing a 24 hour result in this guy. So make sure you do hit the subscribe button notification bell so you guys be updated on the results on that. So let's take ourselves over to a pool. Now because I'm in Europe, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick on one of these pools. Um, I am going to pick the second one here just because it's got a smaller fee and it's got a fair few miners on there and I can see that it's actually receiving some blocks. Now I do realize that this, this pool here is probably making the most but for the sake of the 0 0.5 I'm just going to go ahead and go for that. So when you get yourself to the Yarda Lemerlin or however you say this for the pool you go ahead and press on the download. So you can have two choices. You can download the SRB miner or you can use the XM Rig CC. So for this instance, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the XM Rig CC. So if we go ahead and press download, and if we just go on the Windows download, let's open this up. Now, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and create yourself a folder on your desktop so you can go and drop, go ahead and drop these into a folder for yourself. Okay, so now that we're on our desktop, what we're going to need to do is just go ahead, create a new folder. Go ahead and call this anything that you like. So I'm just going to call this XMRig Yarda Coin. Go ahead and press enter on that. Go ahead and copy or highlight all of these files, and then drag them all the way to the folder. Now you'll need something like 7-zip or WinRAR to go ahead and do this. Then once you've actually gone ahead and opened this, you'll notice that you have a few applications and a JSON file. So let's go ahead and open up the JSON file. Now there's two things that we're going to need to head, go ahead and change in here. Okay, So we're going to need to change the pool URL and then we're going to need to go ahead and change out the user Okay, with our wallet address. So if we take ourselves back over to the wallet, go ahead and copy yourself your wallet address take yourself back over to your notepad paste that in there and then save and then what we're going to do is we're going to be going on to the lemerilinel.fr pool because the fee looks cheap let's go ahead and copy the url 
and let's go ahead and paste that into here and as I say guys you can use any of the pools of your own choice you do not have to copy what I'm doing in this video uh, but you can go ahead and use any of the pools but I'm just going to be using this for the testing purposes especially for the, for the next 24 hours um, just to show you guys exactly how much you know it can earn and also just to keep it ever so slightly decentralized as well so now that we've changed these if we go ahead and we go back to the folder if we go ahead and then we right click and press run as administrator as you see there guys we should now be successfully mining on to yada coin to the whatever pool the french pool so just give that a few moments for it to go ahead and stabilize itself and build itself up but if we just take ourselves back over to the web page go ahead and go back to the pool copy our address go back to the French pool that we just jumped on go ahead and then paste in our wallet address and then press get stats and as you can see there guys it's already started to show through that we're kicking through a hash rate and the hash rate that we're showing at the moment give or take is around about 2000 uh, 400 or you know on our side it's showing 3700 so if we give this a little bit more time it should go ahead and start getting some accepted shares which it already has done and then actually you know relaying that information back to the pool so if next Right, so I'm noticing that I'm getting plenty of accepted shares, but I'm also seeing some uh, connection errors and connection refuse issues and things like that, guys. So uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this off, and I'm going to take myself over to the Crimson Fusion pool. And I'm going to go ahead, copy this, and take myself back over to the URL, and then paste this into there, and then go ahead and press save. As I said uh, before, guys, make sure you choose and pick your own pool that's more comfortable for yourself, uh, and I would also recommend doing ping checks uh, to see if you'd make the most out of it. And then go ahead and then rerun that, and then you should be successfully mining to uh, any of the pool of your own choice. But I just thought I'd make sure to go go ahead and show you that, guys, because situations like that can happen sometimes with mining. And I would recommend if that does happen to yourself, just go ahead and move yourself onto a different pool. Uh, don't stress, don't fret about it. Just move on to the next pool and start carrying on there, mining from there. Right, guys. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll be doing the 24-hour mining results on this, and I'll show you guys the results tomorrow. Make sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you guys will be updated for whenever I do release that video. Video. Right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.